everybody. Uh, I'm Jeff Williams with the uh, Flea Fly Tackle brand. Uh, today we are at Parsons City Lake here in uh, Parsons, Kansas. And uh, what we're doing is we came out today to uh, uh, do a little how-to fishing video of the Flea Fly brand. And uh, I've never crappie fished in my boat out here on this lake and it's spring break and uh, I wanted to bring my son, my youngest son out and uh, try to do a little crappie fishing on a place that uh, we've never been. We're actually heading up to Topeka, Kansas, or up by uh, Milford Lake tomorrow to do a, a Team Catfish video uh, for Big Blue Catfish. So if you haven't seen the Team Catfish channel and you like to cat catfish, you need to check out Team Catfish 1 on YouTube too. Now what we're going to do today is we're just going to go out here and we're going to start looking around for crappie schools or brush piles. I'm going to be using my Garmin uh, side uh, view and down view uh, uh, technology and on the on the new G3 boat now uh, this is the Sportsman 200 edition and I'm telling you what everybody this is a fantastic all-around fishing boat we just got it this year and uh, it's got a double windshield you can see we've got rod holders on the boat for our cat fishing uh, we can set up here and we can do our crappie fishing or bass fishing whatever it is you need to do and uh, like I said I've got a Garmin 1040 XS uh, unit here on the dash and what I'm going to be doing is running my uh, side view and I'm going to be looking for brush piles or looking for schools of crappie and then we're going to be casting the go-go minners or the crappie kickers into them uh, see if we can get some bites. Oh are you about ready to go? Yeah. All right well we're uh, looking forward to having a good little fishing trip here. We're not going to stay out here very long. This is just kind of like a, a spot to do a video on our way up to do another video tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Now what we have on the uh, 1040XS Garmin right here is we've got a small lake map right here. Um, and what I'm doing is I, I've, I've went in, I've zoomed in, I've kind of looked at my lake map. There's an old creek channel that runs through here. But this time of the year, uh, when the water is still pretty cool, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up on the upper end of the lake, or the, the deepest end of the lake to look for our crappie. You know, it's just... Right here around the 1st of March, the water's not very warm, and um, I really think what we need to do is go look on the deepest end of the lake first for our crappie. They haven't started migrating out to their spawning areas yet, and uh, that's what we're going to do. That's my game plan. We're going to look for, at a few of these old creek channels and see if there might be some crappie in these creek channels, and just see what we can find. Um, I don't know my way around this lake very well. I don't know where the hazards are, so we're not going to go really fast. And uh, I'm probably going to put my unit on side imaging, or side view, and uh, see if we can find some fish that way once we get up here to where I want to go. Alright, now what we've got going here is I'm tracking, you can see my spotted track here through the creek channel uh, on the GPS map. And I've already, uh, no longer than I've been out here, I've already figured out that the majority of the fish in this in this lake right now are in this creek channel. And what I'm so what I'm doing is I'm going to track through this channel, and I'm looking for structure. I'm looking for an old log or something that would hold the crappie, or a school of fish that I think that I could maybe get anchored on. And, and cast. You can see the fish down in here. We're in 18, 19 foot of water. You can see the fish right down in here. But in order for me to find them, what I'm doing, now this looks like a more targetable school. I would say that's crappie right there. I would say a lot of these are shad, but that's crappie. You see the difference in the size right there. And um, here's an old piece of brush right here. So or that's the edge of the creek channel I'm not sure yeah that's the edge of the creek channel but somewhere in that area right there it looks like to me that there's a possibility of maybe catching some fish okay now what we have here is the uh, color screenshots taken uh, after we found that little brush pile on the creek channel and there you can see uh, another view uh, we've uh, located lots of crappie around those drop-offs and in those edges on the Garmin units look at here Oh. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Nice Kansas crappie. Hit the uh, two inch go go minnow. You bet. Now that's fun. I don't care where you're at. If you love to crappie fish, uh, that is a lot of fun. Um, 
he actually hit it right up here on the drop off. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Owen, you had any bites? Just had one. Just had a bite? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to cut that one loose. That's about a 11, 12 inch crappie right there. And uh, again, I'm using an eighth ounce jig head, a uh, two inch chartreuse go go minnow. And um, then I got the uh, lemon pie, two inch lemon pie crappie kicker tied right up here above that. Okay, I want to show you the uh, double rig we're using. This is really simple to tie everybody and when you're fishing out in open water like this and you're not fishing around heavy structure, you're not fishing around cover, you really need to fish with at least a couple jigs because there's, there's really no reason not to. It gives you a chance to cover two different depths of water and it also gives you a chance to fish with two different colors. And when you have two people in the boat, you can fish with four different colors till you figure out what the fish are biting. A lot of people that really struggle trying to tie a double rig, and it's really simple, okay? So I went through the eye of my crappie kicker. I gave myself about two feet of line. I'm going to make a loop like this. Just a simple loop like that. And then I'm going to go around my loop with my tag end about five times four or five times and then I'm gonna go back to my tag in and I'm gonna go right through here and I'm gonna pull this up tight pull my tag in through that top loop up tight I'm gonna get it kinda of snug down get a little bit wet and I'm gonna pull it right there I'm gonna pull on my tag in and I'm gonna pull on my main line again and that cinches down everything so now you've got a tag end here and you've got about two feet and you're going to probably end up cutting about six inches of this off or so and then I'm going to go to my other jig, my go-go minnow. I'm going to run down here, make a loop just like we did. Now you've got a real short tag end and you're going to go around that about five, six times, something like that. Okay, take your tag end, poke it back through the top, pull that up. Get your knot to where it's kind of cinched up, get her wet, cinch her down, pull, it, pull the tag in, pull the main line, and then snip her off. And that's the simple little double rig that we were fishing with today, and we caught all of our fish. It's just that easy. Crappie kicker, go-go minnow, we'll get it done. Got one? I didn't even hook him. Nice low. Check out this rascal. Man. Oh, that is a slab. That is a nice crappie. Oh, has got a crappie. Wee. There you go. What the heck? Got one on the crappie kicker and one on the go go. How about that, everybody? Now, I'll take those any day of the week. Wherever I'm at, doesn't matter where I crappie fish, I love to catch crappie like that. And look how thick the back is on that. Make some nice fillets right there. Oh, well, he caught him a nice crappie too. And uh, you know what, everybody? I think what we're going to do is we're going to maybe move around a little bit more. But uh, we're on our way up to another lake today. And uh, we're going to be doing a catfish video for Team Catfish and uh, the wind is really bad out here we got lucky and located these crappie with the garmin units right out here uh, in front of us and uh, we were able to pull in here out of the wind and get it done today this little flea fly how to uh, crappie fishing video we really appreciate everybody watching our videos don't we oh yeah i was going to be fishing with me a little bit more this year 
and uh, we're going to see if we get more kids to watch in these videos because we need kids to be fishing. Uh, that is the future of fishing and the future of hunting uh, all over the United States. So um, we're going to cut these crappie loose. I'm Jeff Williams with o Owen Williams. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch our video.